<laughs> but the Beto O'Rourke thing, I was loving. Loving. I, I saw this. I was like, real slow news cycle. <laughs> um, but it's not, though. Like, that is like. It's the, not a slow That is news a cycle. slow news cycle article if I've ever seen one, except we're not in one. Okay, I'm just going to read this. <laughs> this is from the dailydot.com. Beto O'Rourke cutting steak on Instagram is making people horny. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I think they found one person on Twitter that liked him cutting steak. But like, I, I'll tell you what, I, I, before you see it, did you look at the photo of Beto O'Rourke? Yeah, he's just Did you it. come? No. Hmm. Fake news then. I wasn't horny. I wasn't even aroused. Yeah, Trump, you think that the news is fake? Well, then riddle me this piece of truth. I'm not really a flank steak guy, though. More importantly, he's eating things that aren't Whataburger. On his Instagram story, he's been snacking on guacamole while driving. Hmm. Oh, fuck. That the gets snack's fucking... been snacking. Yeah, Beto O'Rourke's been snacking Evan on Ross guacamole. Katz on Twitter said, Ooh, Beto O'Rourke is cutting up flank steak over on Instagram in case anyone asked how it is I got pregnant. Oh, fuck, Evan dude. said this. Evan likes that <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Dude, if you see Beto, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'll tell you what, if I got a busy day, I got shit to do, I don't want to fucking have to come across Beto with that guac, <laughs> no, dude. No. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cancel my, you know what I see when I see Beto putting some chips in that guac? I say, cancel my four o'clock. These are, yeah, thirst traps. Yeah, That's last weird. week, he showed everyone a giant bowl of Beto's guac. Well, I'm going to take a second, I'm going to be able to get through this segment, which is family set up for him to eat safely while driving. Well... I'd have no choice, dude. Beto comes out, shoving that guac down the Beto hole. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, you thought he's that just was it? A, he's just a civilian right I, now. I, dude, you, what you're not realizing is how horny our listeners are. This is like yeah, fucking audio dogs. porn to them, dude. Yeah, I should do just this. Just picture. Yeah, Beto O'Rourke picking up that chip. Yeah, he is. Just unzip your fly a little bit. You know what yeah. I mean? Beto he's picking up that chip. Chomp. Chomp. <laughs> stick, stick your dick in that guac. Chomp. Stick your dick in that guac. Chomp, chomp, crunch. Yeah, yeah. you got a little garlic stuck. Hold on, let me give you a little something. This is what it's going to sound like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stick your dick in that guac. It sounds like a boot in mud. Yeah. Yeah, just Switch pull that, that boot out Beto. of that mud. Beto. <laughs> Alpha Beto. This week Alpha he also Beto. made... <laughs> oh, you ready for this? What? Scone. I like a good scone. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, I like a good scone... On Beto's bare chest, the crumbs just dripping down his chest. Beto's glistening in the wind. Yeah. His daughter has cut up a flank snake marinated in soy. Soy. Yeah. Yes, that's on brand for Beto. Uh, Beto <laughs> in that soy lime. And yeah, you know what I mean? A little bit of ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beto O'Rourke looking like a snack himself. The steak in particular. And Beto licking his fingers has people feeling things. Yeah, it does, dude. The listeners all just taking a little spank break. Spank breaky. Beto. And I come. Beto. Oh. 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 Rourke. What happened to that guy? What the, guy? the O face guy. O face guy? And he's around here and there, isn't he? Again. That is one of those movies where I go, why aren't all those guys famous? <laughs> that is one of those things where you go, how the fuck is there any <laughs> sure. justice in this world where all those guys didn't get to have careers? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I looked up the I one mean, guy. Some of them, the, Jennifer Aniston is about as big a star as it comes. Well, but she was also the biggest star in the world at the time. But Samir not going to work here. Nah, I, I've actually looked him up and he's just like a dude. He's like, he, if you look at his IMDb, I think he lives in Brooklyn, actually. Huh. And I remember looking up, and he's just like a guy. Huh. He like he runs like an actor's or not even runs. He's just like does stuff at like an actor studio. He was in you know why? Because I rewatched Sopranos and he's in one episode as he's an actor when Christopher does an acting class in the Sopranos, when Christopher's getting into acting and he's one of the guys at the actor studio and I go, Oh yeah, Samir. I go, I wonder if he's killing it and then he's not killing it. Samir is not killing Samir it. Samir not killing well, it. Well Mike Judge Mike kill Judge is here. like one of the biggest directors of all time. Of course. And then uh Jennifer Aniston's like the biggest star of all time. Yeah. Like no, you know, no, there some, are. I'm just saying, some like, big stars came out of that. Some show. big stars did come out of it, but I, I guess mostly just him. Well, some of those other guys, Milton was in. Milton's like a something. one of them. Milton's a huge actor. <laughs> no, Milton's a massive actor. Milton's a big deal. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Milton's huge. So I just ever, you know, I just, just Samir, everybody. Samir, 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 not, not gonna, gonna work anymore. <laughs> not gonna work in this industry anymore. 